guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of Keto Date Night. Oh my <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm pretty good. Oh, that's pretty so good. good. If you don't know, this is my husband, Richard. Uh, uh, we're, I know, right? Uh, is it, excuse me? We got married this past March, and we're just all in love and, and going on date nights. <laughs> While we were dating, one of the things that we enjoyed doing was a special date night where we would just pick a local restaurant and go and enjoy ourselves. Yes, and it was really just a fun thing for us to do together as we both love food and we both love being together. But given all the things going on in the world right now, we can't go to any restaurants and we can't go out. So we thought that we would just continue our date night tradition, but in the house, all we need to have a date night is each other and some delicious food and thankfully is Richard true. is an amazing cook so we decided no you see this meal <laughs> and seeing as we only eat keto in the house we thought it would be a neat idea to bring to you a, a keto date night where we can show some fancy schmancy uh, but simple keto meals exactly. uh, and then talk about all things Autumn and Richard Okay. Mm, good. I, don't, I don't know if you know about that part. You kind of surprised me. Then. But first, Richard, go ahead and describe this awesome meal that you put together for us. Well, first and foremost, we had the salmon, mm -hmm. which was amazing. Uh, basically, I just seared it on both sides. A little salt, pepper, a little O O B B O O. No, no, not, too many not. letters. O e V O O. Extra okay, virgin yeah, olive okay, oil. So what did I say? You started with okay, O. Well, That's we'll too many. That. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, and just in a nice little crust with a little olive oil in a pan, and the salmon's done. I used actually a little lemon. Oh, you didn't know about that? Mm. Yeah, I used a little lemon, a little lemon slice to give the pan a little flavor. And on hers in particular, I used some crushed red peppers. Oh, because he knows I, I like it I hot. Didn't tell her that. In just, more ways than one. Yes. But oh my gosh. And then the peppers and onions. Oh my that gosh. That was just basically the same thing, only a lot slower. Low and slow yes. is how I like salt, my peppers and onions. Salt, pepper, olive oil, and a skillet. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. And just chop up the peppers and onions and give it about 30, 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a labor of love, but it is it, well worth it. it. Uh, then the asparagus. That's the, oh that's the kicker. That's the kicker. Luckily for us, we had a Costco asparagus. Mm -hmm. So... Copious simple. amounts of asparagus yes, yes, that yes, could go in the microwave. Yes. So simple as microwave and a button. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. What? <laughs> Once that was done, but then I added two ways. I did one with a, I, redid, I rendered some bacon down, mm -hmm. diced it up, and we did one in the skillet with bacon, and then I did the other one in a bowl with Parmesan cheese and a little sprinkling of grated Parmesan. Oh my goodness. To give it a little, uh, of course, also salt and pepper as well. Of course. And basically, just let them sit for a second or two mm -hmm. while you're making the plate, and everything's perfect. After and bada that. bing, the heat does it for you. Exactly. Oh, bada bam. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can show the people the beautiful plate. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Amazing. You see the salmon and amazing. the peppers and amazing. onions. Asparagus two ways. Oh what? Gosh. Oh my gosh. Who does asparagus two ways? Oh my, my husband. Oh my okay. Gosh. Okay, so yeah, now. Less talking, more eating. So let's dig into this. Okay. Before we do, one thing that we'll do here on Keto Date Night is make a toast. These are our, our wedding wow, crystals. This is new to me. I know, right? Okay. Uh, to each other and to being oh. in love and to being such a good oh. cook. Oh, oh and being gosh. together during oh, this crazy goodness. time. And, and for you putting up with me. Oh, vice <laughs> versa. Happy date night, honey. Yeah. Oh, it's this is Sprite Zero and it's delicious. <laughs> like, I think it's, it's a glass. delicious. I don't know the glass <laughs> no, it's, it's crisp. Like it. It's amazing. Okay, honey, buddy, let's dig in. Okay, what are you going for first? I'm always starting with the asparagus. <laughs> I just am. These, these asparagi. What is the plural of asparagus? I'll go with the uh, I. The asparagi are calling my name. Both the, <laughs> both the bacon <laughs> and the parmesan just look so delicious. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. I cannot wait While to you dig do that, into I this. Will show it on the onions. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're going in for my favorite. Mm -hmm. See, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a save the best for last type person. And those onions and peppers are my favorite thing in the world. So I am saving those for last. But go ahead and tell me how they are. Amazing. Mm, I bet they are. Oh, <laughs> brag much? Okay, guys. The bacon asparagus. Uh oh. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> 
salty, <laughs> so crunchy, meaty, asparagusy though, Ooh. like fresh and Ooh. green. You are so talented. Oh my gosh. I'm just so lucky to be married oh to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm doing your move. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You guys, this is my favorite thing in the world. He's such a good cook. We just have so much fun together, but the food tastes so good. We all know I like my salmon like well done, Extremely. all the way cooked through, Extremely. a little burnt if you will. Like that's how I like the majority of all my meat cooked. destroys the salmon. <laughs> I destroy all meat. Like but he won't make steak for me. It. Like exactly. Well I make it. I you just, do. He, he, he makes it much to his chagrin. It's just he like, makes I it. Cry. He, <laughs> he weeps for the beef. <laughs> Let's take mm. that twice. It's so good. Mm. It's so flavorful. I can't believe you get that with just like salt and pepper and oil. I know. You are a magician, Richard. Oh my gosh. Peppers and onions. Mm. It's so beautiful. This is why I married him right here. <laughs> because of these peppers and onions. Oh, I knew I was going to be getting these for the rest oh, of my life. Oh I was like, sign me up. Mm. Oh my gosh, shut yeah, up. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. I am amazed at mm -hmm. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, with this being the first episode of Keto Date Night and whatnot, I thought it would be fitting to tell the story of how we met. Hmm? <laughs> okay, Richard, so tell the story. Oh my gosh. I mean, basically, I was on a job. What was the date? Set the scene. Oh March 9th, 2019. <laughs> yes. It was a dark and rainy night. Yes, it really was. Dark and stormy night. It was. It was a, a freelance videographer job that I had, basically, to go film this lady singing. And a At a bar. Of, yeah, a friend of mine was hosting the event and just wanted the footage of it. So I was like, okay, no problem. Because um, that's what you do for your job. Exactly. So I was like, I don't mind. Uh, I freelance a lot on the side, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, on the drive there, I I remember vividly that I was vocally saying, "What am I doing?" Because <laughs> it was raining so hard, mm -hmm. and my windshield wipers were acting up, and I was like, I couldn't really see. So I was like, "What am I doing? I should just go home and tell them I can't make it. I should just go home and be like, because um, you weren't getting paid." Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a well, volunteer yes, friend. Yes, yes. It was a favor for a friend. It was a friend. really, really good friend. We'll just say that. Long story short, uh, I got to the bar and I set up and I'm waiting for the event to start. And a friend of my, a friend of ours. Now I didn't know at the time. Well, you can say mine because that's who she was when you met her. Yeah, yeah. Her best friend was dolled up that night. For the event, so she had a normally she had glasses on. She had a glass up and her hair up, so she was sitting on the stage just hanging out. And I was just I'd already set up, so I was bored, and I was just walking over just making small talk. And I was like, "Hey, uh, waiting on the event. Uh, this guy's supposed to be here soon." We ended up talking, and she told me she was saving a spot for her friend. And I was telling her that the establishment was getting kind of full. Cause I think it was around 9 o'clock at this time. Yeah. 8, 9 o'clock. So I was like, the establishment's getting kind of full. And your it was almost time to start. Your <laughs> friend better uh, hurry up or your friend might not have a seat available. It gets more full and then almost to capacity. So I'm at the point now where I'm like, your friend really is not getting a seat. And no sooner did I say that than... Somebody this, walked through the this, door. This lady sitting beside me walked through and just sparkled from the moment she hit the door. I just was like, what? I saw her first and then I was just like, man, she's cute. But then she kept walking toward us and I was like, so she's trying to get to the stage? Is she a musician or something? I didn't know. And then her and... Ashley. The, yeah, Ashley just started talking. And I was like, oh, you know each other? And she's like, this is your friend? And she's like, oh, well then, um, caught me off guard, I will say. I was, uh... He was expecting some regular looking chump to walk in. <laughs> and then here I go walking in and I walk right up to him. And I start talking, and, and the thing is, from my point of view, let, let me start from my point of view. Dark and rainy night, 
I am super annoyed. I don't want to be going to this event, but my best friend is emceeing the event because her husband is hosting the event and she asks me to come. And my answer was no. I don't want to come. I don't like bars. I don't like concerts. I just don't like being out of my house when I don't have to be. So no. And then she goes, but Autumn, you never come anywhere and you never do anything and just come and sit next to me. You don't have to talk to anybody. Just come and get out of the house. It'll be fun. And I was like, I bet it won't. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know anything. <laughs> but I decided to come anyway. I pulled up to the bar. It was raining. I walked in to the door and I told her, I said, save me a seat because when I get there, I'm going directly to that seat. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not making small talk. I'm not looking around. I'm only here to support you. I'm only here because you asked me to come out. Okay. So I walk in and it is, it's pretty packed, but I see my best friend just chatting it up with this strange man. And I mean, the way that they were just talking, I was just like, oh, they know each other. They're cool. So we're cool. So I walk up to my best friend. I say, Hey girl, what's up? Hello stranger. How are you? You know, that's fine. And we just hop into a conversation. The three of us just having the best conversation ever. And the first thing I remembered about the, the guy that she was talking to was that he cracked just a funny joke. And I was like, ha, huh, that was actually very funny, you know? And we just talked for a couple more minutes and the, the guy was like, okay, well, I have to go check on something. I'll be back in a minute. And I was just like, okay, bye. You know, more time for me to chat it up with my girlfriend. <laughs> so he leaves and I'm just left there with my best friend, Ashley, to which then she says, I don't know who that is, but you two would be perfect together. And I was just like, <laughs> you don't know who that is? Like, why were we just talking to him for five minutes? Like, you guys just look like you knew each other. And she was like, no, we were just talking and he was really cool. But like, you guys have a lot in common. And I was just like, okay. I mean, he was funny, which, you know, number one checks off that box immediately. Oh, yeah. And then throughout the night, he just kept coming over and talking to us. And then he would say, oh, I got to go check on something. And then he would go away and then he would come back. And, and I could tell that as he was coming and going and coming back, I was just like, I really enjoy talking to this guy. I know he got to enjoy talking to all of oh this. Gosh. You know what I'm saying? Oh that was true. Mm, thank you. At the end of the night, it comes, it's like after 11, mm -hmm. like I it, keep going back and forth. Yes. And what I was going back and forth for was, was checking the, on his cameras. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I had the cameras rocked in tripods. So I was, <laughs> he was not doing his job at all. He was letting the tripod, was the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> he was letting the tripod tape the concert so that he could sneak away I and come talk to you. I the camera, but there was other more important interests that caught mm. my eye that night. Mm. So tripod will work. <laughs> so he went as, as a professional and went to check on his cameras, make sure everything looked good. Uh, and at the end of the night, like it was late. I mean, it was late, late. Mm -hmm. I mean, so for as, me, no, that's an early night. Yeah, like, like, he, he literally went to a like another pizza restaurant after that. I was like, how? Was could, oh my god! I was like, how could you fathom eating? I went I, home I, and went straight to sleep. I missed that pizza place. Oh my <laughs> gosh! But so I could tell that I wanted our conversation to continue, and I could tell that he was very interested in me, and I was interested as well. Mm -hmm. However. He was being such a gentleman and working his way into asking for my phone number. And I just did not have the patience. I was like, look, she had things to do. I was like, look, I'm tired. Like I want to go home and go to sleep, but I want you to have my phone number. Well, also the event wasn't going to end for a while. Like, yeah. The event was still like another hour away. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't, I can't do this anymore, but I want you to have my phone number. So. He took my phone number. He said, I'll call you tomorrow. She beat me by like five minutes. And those were five minutes <laughs> I did not have. I was like, I'm leaving now. So was, I'm not going to be here in five now. minutes for you to ask for my phone number. Ergo, take it. But I knew he was going to ask for mm -hmm. it. So that's the only reason I, I gave it to him. So. Mm -hmm. so I gave him my number that night and he said, great, I'll call you tomorrow. And I, you know, part of it was just like, yeah, right. They always say, I'll call you tomorrow. They never call, you know, who cares? It was great talking to him, but like, I ain't chasing no man. Okay. Oh I'm too old for that oh and I'm gosh. not going to do it. So, Hey, if he calls, that'll be great. But I was fully prepared for you not to call ever and just be like, Oh, that was, that was a fun night. 
But the next day, much to my surprise, oh my he called and we had a great phone conversation and he asked me to coffee a couple days later and we went and got coffee mm -hmm. and then at that coffee date he asked me on another date later that week mm -hmm. and he did all of that pursuing and courting that a oh woman could God. only dream oh about gosh. he called me that day and every day since like there hasn't there has not been a day since march 9th 2019 that we have not talked and we pretty much count that as the day that we were together i mean the, the day that we met we yes. were pretty much together right at that moment you know we I, went on I, a few I, days I i'll call it we'll we'll say 10 days to 14 days to like make it official but you know we talked every day after that and it was pretty much a foregone conclusion and that's why we got married on march 9th 2020. it was a yes, year was. to the day that we met and it'll just always be such a special yeah, day it was a whirlwind that it, it was a whirlwind I was happily a part of yes and tell them I didn't know about this and I still don't believe it to this day but tell them what you told your mother the night of the event tell, tell them what you told your mom tell them what you told your mama the day that we met maybe the next day okay the next day <laughs> I may or may not have said that I found my forever girl it, the day after it's, meeting it's, me it may have slipped out I mean it's only like Honest. And what did your mother say? <laughs> uh, she said, slow down. <laughs> As any good mother would. <laughs> she said, you just met her, slow down. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a week or two. I, I told my mom, go. I was like, I actually met a man that I had an interesting conversation with, which at that point was just such a rarity for me. Like, I was like, I actually gave my phone number to some guy. He may or may not call, but either <laughs> way, it was a good time. And my mom told me that. She's like, do you remember what you told me the night you met Richard? I was like, honestly, no. She was like, I met this guy and we had a good conversation. I was like, all true things. <laughs> I, did, I did not go as far as to say I met my forever man. Oh, How could you know that on the day that we met? I mean, just because I know what I want, mm. I don't know what I like. But you don't know what I want, oh you don't know goodness. what I like. You got you. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. That's the story of how we met. Just such a chance encounter. I had it planned on going there. Yeah, I can't tell you the last social event that I went to before that. And the crazy thing <laughs> is, so by both doing favors for our friends, mm -hmm. that's how we met. Not knowing that our friends were married to each other. That My best true. friend, the MC, was is married to the host, who is the person yeah, that hired him. So so how have we been one degree of separation our entire life? It just you how crazy things are. Uh, it's just, you never know. That anything. don't matter, because we're together now. Oh my gosh. Oh my, well, it's just, it's just about you just believe. You just believe you just and focused. know that they're out there. Because oh. I'm, I'm here to tell you, if you don't think he's out there, got him, okay? Mm. Just oh wait. Just wait oh for gosh. a little bit. Oh he's coming. So You're my dream come true, sweetie. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> nah, just, she tells me all about that. And she's mine as well. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us for our first ever keto date night. This was a blast, if to be honest. Bored you, I apologize. I still got some salmon that I'm going to scarf down after we cut she, this off. I mean, will. this she is will. amazing. If you have any other questions or topics that you'd like us to address on our next date night, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much for joining us on our little date. Hope you dressed up. Hope you got fancy. Made it a double. And we'll see you next time. To my woman love of my life <laughs> and my forever wife oh you called it i know oh cheers to us babe cheers to us good night night all